in this program I'm going to discuss uh, about this problem write a snap project to read a three digit number then we have to display the hundred the tenth and one digit for example if the input is 728 our output should be the hundred digit is uh, seven the tenth digit is uh, equal to two and the ones digit is eight so let us start this program at first we start then I have to ask and read the number so I'll ask here enter your three digit number So the user will enter some number. So I'm going to make a variable. Named number. And I'm going to set this the answer to this number variable. Now I have the number from the user. Now if I want to find the ones digit tenth digit and hundred digit the option I can use here is the mod so every time if I mod by 10 mod function returns the remaining so if I mod by 10 from 728 my remaining will be 8 so 8 is the ones digit now if I want the tenth digit at first I have to remove 8 and then I have to mod by 10 again so how I can remove 8 from a number I can divide by 10 and I can take the floor and that will be 72 and if I mod by 10 again then I will have remaining only 2 so that way I can find the 10th digit and again if I divide by 100 if I want the hundred digit I divide by 100 then my number will be 7.28 and if I take floor it will be only 7 so after that if I mod by 10 again my remaining will be 7 so in that way using that logic I can easily find the hundred digit also so the logic is I divide but if I want the one digit once digit I divide by 1 and mod by 10 if I want the 10 digit I divide by 10 and mod by 10 if I want the 100 digit I divide by 100 and mod by 10 so every time I'm going to mod by 10 and dividing by the number the place I want so for example I make another three variable like ones digit So make another variable tenth and I'll make another variable hundred hundreds so, so now I can set I will set all of them set first ones then tenth then hundreds now <coughs> okay so for one digit I'm going to divide this number by one so I bring the number just to take save some time I'm doing together so every time for one uh, for tenth I will divide by ten for hundred I'll divide by hundred and I'll take floor each time because the floor function takes the last integer because obviously when I divide 
I will have different fraction value that's why I'm using the floor so after the floor the number I have to mod by 10 each time so I bring the mod So this holds the whole result I will mod by 10 this whole result also I will mod by 10 and this whole result I will mod by 10 also so now if I want to show the numbers I can use the say command so once the once digit equal here I am to show the number also so, and message also so I'll use a join I will a join function that will be better that way I can show the message and number also so here the message the once digit is here the message will be the the tenth because it is the hundred as it is so I bring all the variable once and to show the output here tenth and hundred and all the output will be shown for two seconds so I enter a new number for example 728 the one digit is 2 10 digit is 8 and the 100 digit is sorry I didn't set for floor here it will be floor and uh, one is this one okay so here I can I'm going to explain again the ones digit so if I want the ones digit I divide the number by one and take the floor and mod by 10 I want the 10 digit I divide the number by 10 take the floor and mod by 10 if I want the hundred digit I divide the number by 100 and floor take the floor and mod by 10 so so on if I want thousand or onwards I can divide by that number then take the floor and mod by 10 so if I see the result now so here enter a three digit number so I enter 728 I see one digit is 8 then digit is 2 and 100 digit is 7 so this is all for this program